Hey, what's up guys? It's Durf. We are back with some box opening goodness. Today we're going to be taking a look at some Ravnica Allegiance. Not one box, but two. That's what's up. So, the most I've opened of this is the stuff you guys have seen on this channel. Um, aside from some random packs, maybe at F&M, that kind of thing. But, uh, you know, figured I'd get some more Ravnica Allegiance because I hadn't opened any of this stuff yet. <laughs> uh, really still lacking some of the cards, so I can't really build what I want. So, let's crack into this. Uh, we're going to try to be quick about this, but we'll see. So, hopefully we'll hit some sweet cards that uh, I could use for deck building, but uh, you know, also be looking at value as well. So we'll see how we do. So I'll push those over there. All right, let's get started. So probably go past the most of the common uncommon stuff. Just go straight to the, uh, the rare. So engineer, racketeers, Got the Sky Tether and Awaken the Erstwhile and a foil of Axbane Beast. Alright, so I think that's a swing and a miss on that one. <laughs> Alright, then we've got some kind of maybe Judith or who knows? Looks like a Rakdos thing coming up. Brewler. Daggercaster and Rakdos, showstopper. <laughs> so we got actually Rakdos, first mythic. Nice. Right, and we'll set that on that side. So we'll start off with Mr. Rakdos himself. Uh, not sure what he's going for at this point. I don't think too much. Uh, a couple dollars, <laughs> if that. So, yeah, not. Not really seeing them on the top of the list here. Oh, I don't mess that one up. <laughs> All right. Well, we got a uh, first uh, first Shockland Gala Shrine. That's what's up. So let's uh, let's set those aside too because we're interested to see how many Shocklands we can get. Get a bunch of Shocklands, uh, you can do okay. So that one that one's like the third best one. All right, Acrobat, Upgrade, Carnarium, that's a good one. Uh, Sphinx of Foresight. All right, but the uh, Uncommon Cry of Carnarium, I think, is you know, one of the one of the better ones uh, for the Uncommons. So it might actually be something I want to look at for deck building. All right, Frilled Mystic. The Coming to play, Counter Stuff. Rumbling Ruin. Fireblade Artist and Biomancer's Familiar. I uh, don't think that one's doing super great. Uh, Passion Order there, the first common. Got that one in my white life gain deck online. Syndicate Guild Mage and Smothering Tithe. <clears throat> yeah, that's a couple of bucks. Yeah, it's like four dollar, four dollar rare. Not bad. All right, moving along. Let's see. Guild Mage, Angel, Infiltrator, and Amplifier. Amplifying my money into nothing. <laughs> That's a couple cents, I think. All right, We've got the Shark Crab, Junk Troller, Sentinel's Mark, and Mass Manipulation. The Extreme cost of that. Don't think it's doing too much for us. <clears throat> but again, looking for stuff for building decks. So, oh, well, I guess we got another Rakdos card. Uh, <laughs> Spy, Ingus, and hey, there's Judith. We'll take Judith any day. What up, Judy? Judge Judy there. What's she going for? Three bucks nowadays. My price list from MTG stocks. So just kind of peeking at it on the side here. All right, got a Beastmaster, Wall Thoughts, Breaker Ram. That one's a good one. And ooh, Growth Chamber Guardian. <clears throat> Growth Chamber Guardian. So that one's still doing pretty good. About three bucks. 
Not bad. Not bad. All right. Got the biogenic upgrade, wilderness recollection, code of constraint, and the type taker. All right. One mythic, one shock so far. All right. Rally. Rally. Got the split blade artist and cinder vines. That one's doing. Uh, I don't see it on my the left side. I've got <laughs> oh, that's a couple of dollars, a dollar forty-two. So got stuff on the. Oh, there's a dollar right there. Persistent partitioners. Let's do very up oh, light up the stage. <clears throat> Good on common. That's like two fifty right now. And split card of no value. Oh my goodness. Woo! Uh, yeah. So, Foily Godless Shrine. Uh, sure, we'll take that. Um, cool. I was wondering if I was going to see any foil shockers. And there we go. So, I've got a regular and a foil <laughs> Godless Shrine. That is pretty. Nice. Cool. All right. Well, put that foil over the oh, that foils over here. So put that in that pile. That is sweet. Well, got our foil rare. Pretty decent. <laughs> the shield, beastmaster, constraint, and a split card of who cares. Care attack, skate wing spy, spire mangler, and a verity circle. All right, so obviously we want the uh, the hydroid crisis because that thing's like thirty bucks now. Ridiculous, used in like every deck ever. Well, it's used by anybody who's playing blue and green. So, really. Really? What's up? What's up? I was like talking about you and you showed up to the party. What's up, Mr. Crisis? How we doing? He's like, oh, I'm a jellyfish hydra beast thing. And Durf, I'm showing up to your party. <laughs> That's cool. All right. So second mythic, hydra crisis. Um, great. <laughs> I will take that. So, called that one. That's funny. Start talking about them. Well, let's start talking about some more uh, Shocklands. Maybe they'll some more Shocklands will come up. Because we still have... Seriously? <laughs> uh, yeah, Breeding Pool. There's our top... That's our top Shockland in the set right now. So, there's a Breeding Pool. Awesome. Alright, so I just need to talk, keep talking about good cards. And they'll just show up, apparently. So... You know, next I'm looking for uh, Seraph of the Scales because uh, she's pretty hot right now. So let's see. Let's see if we can summon her up. High Alert, Guardian, Cavalcade of Calamity, and Enraise Runners. Okay, that's the opposite of what I was trying to do. So those are <laughs> Enraise Runners of like 30 cents. It's terrible. But you can't complain because, uh, you know, got the Crisis and <laughs> a Breeding Pool and a Foil God of the Shrine. I mean, come on. All right, drill bit, last breath, and theater of horrors, and I think we have a foil. Psh, burn bright. Oh, look at that. That is some cool foiling. I don't know if the camera's catching that, but just yeah, there we go. Oh, that looks so cool. So very neat foilage. So, moving right along. All right. Got the Goblin, Vampire, Guild Mage, and Absorb. Absorbing that. Spell, gaining some life. It's worth a dollar or two, something like that. Nothing, nothing crazy. <clears throat> I think I like the original art better anyways. Oh, Gatebreaker Ramp, and a Mesmerizing Benthid is our mythic. So I don't... No, what that mythic is going for. Let's see. That I don't think is very much. 
Come on, where is it on my list? Don't see it. So, yeah, not worth too much. The uh, Gatebreaker Ram. Who knows? Gatebreaker Ram's probably worth more. <laughs> Gate Colossus, Goblin, Spirit of the Spires, and hey, Tessa Karlov. Got to play against her in FM last night. She, uh, interesting interactions with all the stuff in her deck. So, <clears throat> double on up those death triggers. So, pretty good, uh, pretty good card. Acrobat. Carcanarium, Guild, and Kaya's Wrath. Nice. That's what's up. That's probably uh, a couple bucks, maybe. Oh, it should be up there. Kaya's Wrath, yeah. $2.67. Went to MTG Stocks. Two. Boom. All right. Zagana, Utopian Speaker. Oh, and a foil. Noxious Groot, Grudian. All right. Down to the last stack on this first box here. So, going to be a little bit longer video than uh, most of them here because we're going to do two boxes. Two, three, Priest of Forgotten Gods. What's up, girl? You ain't forgotten. All right, something spicy. Boom! All right, Spawn of Mayhem. Man, when this uh, when this at first release, that would have been like 15, <laughs> 15 bucks. I think they're down to uh, about six or seven. Uh, I think it was in the, I think it was in the guild, uh, the guild kit for Rakdos. So one of the precons or something. So gonna lose some value when you, you know, put a bunch in there. Oh my goodness. Send it, Simic Ascendancy, and then I have a foil. There's a foil land behind here. If this is a second, oh, <laughs> Rakdos Guildgate, still cool. Um, but you know, that would have been nuts getting two foil shock lands in one box. Uh, yeah. <coughs> So let's keep going here, see what we can get. Gutter Bones. Oh, Gutter Bones. What's going on, Gutter Bones? All right, uh, well, three shock lands so far, one foil, um, but uh, two regulars. So if we get our average of three, I think is the norm. This box is Mortify. I think that's the first Mortify I've gotten out of this. Gates Blaze, Dovin Security, and Mirror March. So we're hoping for um, hoping for some more shock lands here. Boom! Unfathomable, unbreakable formation. Well, let's just go right to it. All right, sneak drill bit that and the Roxmati Reveler and a foil. Ooh, high alert foil. That is cool. Nice. Uh, for all your wall decks out there, that kind of thing. So each creature you control assigns comet damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. So it doesn't even have to be walls. It's just, uh, you know, you can have big booty stuff dealing damage like it was a high power uh, creature. So that's pretty awesome. Oh, let's see. Oh, Seraph of the Scales. Come on. Yes! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What is that? Five mythics? One, two, three, four, five mythics. That's awesome. Man, we usually do so bad. <laughs> the last last boxes were okay. Uh, I think I got a crisis before, but holy moly. I, I've gotten the that's like the top three top three cards in the set so far. Boom, gruel, spellbreaker. So we've got a couple packs to go, but yeah, in the we've got the two two of the top mythics. Um, 
Jeez, a Gala Shrine, Foil Gala Shrine, Shoot. Prime Speaker. Oh no, we didn't get Prime Speaker Vandapar. We okay. got the other one. Zagarda. Zagarda. All right, we got the Lizrod, Screaming Shield, and Guardian Project. All right, so finishing up box one. Really decent box. Really decent box. Just uh, one more, one more shock, and we'll be good. Hero of Precinct one. Let's see in some play. All right, last pack. Let's get a regular. Let's get a regular uh, shock land over here. Let's get one more of those things. Let's get one more regular shock land. Come on, for the close. I believe in you. Mortify Drake. Sphinx of the Guild Pact, and... Oh, okay. Uh, we'll take a Mythic instead. Sure. Uh, Ravager Worm. <laughs> Honestly, the uh, <laughs> the lands are probably more expensive, but jeez, oh, Pete. Six Mythics. Six Mythic box. It's crazy. All right, so I'm going to push the commons. Put that over there, and let's jump into... Clean up just a little bit. But we're going to jump into our second... Second box here fairly quickly, and let's see. So, yeah, that was actually uh, very, very good. So, let's see. Let's see if we can get. Apparently, cutting cutting the top of the box like that is uh, <laughs> good luck. So, let's see how we can do. Okay, box number two. Right, so let's take these out. Oh, oh. Action shifted at the bottom. Just. Group of order. And three. Okay. Do this without hitting my camera. Alright. I'll put these put these on top so it's easier to grab. Alright, box two. Let's get started. So I'm just gonna be zipping through this one. Ugh. Ugh. What are you doing, Durf? It's the uncommon pile. Why are you putting stuff in the uncommon pile? Uh, dropping things. Okay. Two, three. We got a benthic biomancer. Benthic focus mancer. All right. Guild gate and stuff. All right. Next pack here. Next pack. Jeez. I'm just dropping stuff. Rally to Battle, Boar Thing, Wall of Lasso, and uh, Pestilent, Pestilent, Pestilent Spirit. Alright, so we're getting some variety here, so that's good. Well, a lot of these boxes, uh, <clears throat> sometimes you'll see online, you know, on YouTube, you'll see a lot of um, duplication. So I wouldn't mind duplicating that last box, it was uh, pretty darn good. So um, hopefully a little bit of duplication. Mortify, Sky Tether. Gates Blaze and Ravager Worm. Let's not duplicate the bad ones, though. Come on. <laughs> so, first Mythic. Uh, Silhana Wayfinder. First Foil. Alright, so one Mythic. There's a Persistent Petitioners. That's usually on It's usually on top, isn't it? Oh. Oh, we have another Mythy. Let's see. Nope. Cinder Vines. Alright, so get, now we're getting some duplication. <laughs> Open. A little duplication. Nikia. Alright, hadn't gotten a Nikia in the last box. So that's nice. Come on. Mr. Crisis, where are you at? Oh, oh, Kaya. Oh, hey, Kai. What's up? And a Goblin Gathering. All right. So, got a Kaya, Planeswalker. Very nice. Uh, I think she is getting up there around, uh, around almost $8, I think. So, cool. Let's take that. Two Mythic so far. Man. It's mythic. Mythic Mania. Not a bad thing. 
Riven the Wild, Ignis Torrent, and Awaken the Erstwhile. Okay, so that's what we'd started with. That was our first rare. The last box. So, maybe this is where we start getting some real duplication, but we'll see. Smothering Tithe. That's all right. Let's let's look real quick because that was. Look at that. So there's the Awaken, the Erstwhile, and there's a Smothering Tithe. So, I don't know. These packs are, uh, <clears throat> I'm sure they, I know they try to uh, mix them all up now because they used to have problems with uh, people were able to figure out the pack order. Absorb. So I wonder if, so we got Absorb the last time. So this time it was, so we had the first one was Erstwhile, Absorb. Did we go two? No. I also took out the Mythics too, so. Anyways, <clears throat> got Absorb. Absorb was further on. Just interested in the order there. Kind of interesting. All right. One, two, three. Sphinx is Foresight, so also had that in the last box. Again, seeing some duplication now. Rally Battle, Mangler, Guildmage, and Incubation Druid. Alright, I don't think we saw that one last time. Saw a couple, saw the other one, the um, the other Adapt one that uh, when it comes into play, you go get, go fetch the same dude, something like that. Clamor Sean. The split card, Regenesis, and Lavinia. Azorius Renegade. Alright, moving right along. Mr. Crisis, I invite you to show up at any time here. <laughs> to add some value to my box. Alright, we've got a Hero Precinct 1 and a Foil Prowling Caracal. So we also got Hero in the last box. Now we're seeing just massive duplication. I think that's almost every one uh, is a duplicate. I well, got a white card. Uh, <laughs> upgrade, Dodger, Sphinx, and Type Taker. Wait. Oh, we got a Type Taker the last time. We also got the... Was it the Gathering Tithe or something like that? Uh, no, those don't go there. All right, so how about a... There we go. All right, there's the Godless Shrine. All right, so two Godless Shrines. That is... Man, we're going we're gonna to end up with a... Get another foil, we could have a playset. I think Godless Shrine is my most pulled... Uh, <laughs> I think I pulled all that in my last couple boxes. Pulled a ton of... No, no, it was the uh, Hallowed Fountain. I think it was the most pulled before. Guild Mage, Star Fa Yes! Blood Crypt. All right. Blood Crypt making it to the party. Blood Crypt being uh, second best uh, value right now. About $9.15. But, you know, the um, Stomping Ground and Gala Shrine are right behind it. At like $8.99, $8.95. So, still very good prices for um, Shocklands. Alright, Theater of Horrors. All right, where's where's my goodies? Let's see here. Angel, drill bit, knight, and split card. Womp womp womp. Always a bad day when the split cards show up. Cause they're not this time. They're not worth too much. Oh, got another. Oh, prime speaker, Vanifar. Nice. All right. Prime Speaker showing up. Man, that's like, uh, what do we got? Three? Yeah, three Mythics so far. So, you know, that's uh, about average for a box. So, three or four Mythics. Uh, we got six the last time. So, uh, nothing, not too shabby there. All right. Growth Chamber Guardian. That's the other one that I was talking about. Not the, uh, it's the one other than the 
incubation druid. <clears throat> so yeah, that guy goes grabs grabs other dudes and uh, they all pump up for pretty cheap at that price, honestly. I mean, not as, not as uh, crazy as the little, uh, what's that little blue one? I mean, we haven't seen that one yet. Terramander? Have I gotten any Terramanders? All thoughts. And, hey, another Kai's Wrath. And Foil Galloping Lizrog. I don't think I've gotten any. Uh... <laughs> Let's go back and check. Have I gotten any Terramanders? That's sitting at the best. That's the best uh, uncommon at this point. Things just uh, skyrocketed in price. But that and light up the stage. We know we got at least one of those. Alright, Immolation Shaman. Immolating my wallet. Because <laughs> I don't think that one is... Uh, <laughs> I don't think that one's doing too great. That's way down on my... Way down on the list there. But, you know, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Alright, eyes ah, everywhere. Ruin. Oh, there's a Terramander. Sweet. And a Hallowed Fountain. What's up? Good pack, good pack. Alright, so we are into... <clears throat> it was three... Three... Fe uh, I keep saying fetch. Three Shocklands out of this box. We had three, officially three Shocklands out of the last box with one foil. So, that was pretty awesome. Alright, got the Tome of the Guild Pact. So, uh, yeah, we'll see if that one spikes um, during the next set, War of the Spark. Assuming there's going to be just tons of, uh, you know, tons of Planeswalkers. You know, probably some multicolored goodness going on. So, Pontiff and Precognitive Perception. Alright, where's Mr. Krasis? Come on, Krasis. I'd like you to show up, please. That would be super sweet. Got some decent mythics, so, uh, you know, can't, can't really complain. But, uh, let's see. Mark, come here, Marks. You're not Krasis. Oh, foil Rampage of the Clans. That's not a good foil. <laughs> That's our foil rare. Uh, Alright, well. I guess you, you win some, like the uh, <clears throat> Godless Shrine foil, and you lose some like that one. Can't always be... Can't always have home runs. But you can have another breeding pool. <laughs> All right, so we are looking at four. That is four shocklands out of this box. Woo, man! Can we get the last one? Just need the. Uh, what else do we need? Got blood crypt. What am I missing? Uh, the stomping ground. I haven't seen a stomping ground yet. So let's see if we can get a stomping ground. That would be awesome. Get the whole. Kit and Caboodle here. Uh, not in this pack, though. Here's Lavinia again. And a foil. Under City Scavenger. Alright, let up stage. Yeah, there's 250 right there. Gyre Engineer. Essence Capture. And Unbreakable for Formation. So, seen that already on the other, the other box. <clears throat> well, we got our green where everything keeps peeking out there. Shark to crab, regenesis, and ramp there's a regular rampage of the clans. All right, got the normal version. Where's our crisis? <laughs> well, there's a mass manipulation. All right, so mass manipulation for the second time. All right, let me feel real good here. Please give me, give me good, good mythic. <laughs> real mystic, cry of the Cardinarium, Dovin's Acuity, and a uh, split card, and revival re revenge. All right, four packs to go. <clears throat> Got a ton of shock lands. Uh, happy about that. Well, okay. Well, I guess uh, this might be a Judith here. That's a Judith. Yeah, you can see her poking out there. She's 
Let's see the corner. All right, so I got a, oh, a foil, another foil rare. Theater of Horrors, okay, not terrific, but <laughs> hey, we'll take a second foil rare out of the box. That's cool. All right, let's finish this up with a foil Hydroid Crisis. That would be spectacular. Would not mind that. Probably asking too much. Rally Battle. Flamelight Artist. Oh, Angel of Grace. All right. Fourth Mythic. Cool. I think it's fourth. Yeah, we haven't had a Mythic in a while. One, two, three, four. Yep. And then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten Mythics so far. Oh, moly. Out of these two boxes. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Last two packs, guys. Uh, appreciate you guys checking out the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Share the channel with a friend or two. Uh, be happy to see more people showing up here. All right, end rays, forerunners, and a prying eyes foil. If it was a persistent peti peti petitioner. So those were the foils are like six bucks, I think, <laughs> like craziness for the common. But you know, one any of those that are uh, you can have as many as you want in the deck uh, usually do pretty good. So, all right. Finishing it off, let's see, we've got Clear the Stage, Rakdos Firewheeler, got the Orshav Enforcer, and the final rare, boom. Oh, no way! No way, we got all five, all five Shocklands in this box? What is going on? Holy crap. Holy crap, Stomping Ground. Breeding Pool, Hallowed Fountain, Blood Crypt, and Gala Shrine. And, yep, apparently, uh, apparently I'm on fire because uh, you can hear the fire truck <laughs> outside. Man, sorry if that's picking up, guys, but uh, wow. Seven Shocklands out of two boxes plus a foil Gala Shrine. Woo! That is pretty darn good. Holy moly, there's our Gala Shrine. Pretty, pretty. And then 10 Mythics. Jeez, did so well on that. those two boxes. So, uh, guys, thank you so much for checking out the video. And I will catch you guys next time. Time to go build some decks. <laughs> All right, bye-bye.